And then you can see the rest of the body. But after working on that head, I got really tired and everything else is pretty lame. Very bland. <laughs> It's just a monkey. It's just a it's straight just a, line. It's just a straight monkey body, dude. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was it was too ambitious, dude. Dude, I got so burnt out after like just doing the head. <laughs> hey guys, so before we actually move out of our little ow, why'd you do that? No, doggos! Oh my god, your dog attack. <laughs> Doggos, come over here. Over here. I can't. What? Dude, I think they're just perma aggro that you now. It's because you attacked me. Oh my gosh. Doggos, come oh, here. Oh, look. They're not. They're not aggro to me. Oh, Wait, they where'd TP'd. They, go? they TP'd. <laughs> okay. Stay here. Alright. So. Yeah. We wanted to do a quick little tour of our starter hut before we actually moved out to our main base. This is our little storage system. We have a bunch of crates. This is our ore doubling. We use thermal expansion. So we have a crate here into pulverizer, into redstone furnace. We also have an induction smelter for metal alloying. There's an energetic infuser to charge items and latex stuff to make rubber into plastic. And then we have this little contraption here. This is what Frank did. Yeah, these are just a bunch of furnaces. I was testing out. I was like, I wonder what these furnaces do. Then there's the resonator for your essential uh, extra utility stuff. A bunch of wireless uh, RF transmitters. Oh, does this last forever or? Yeah, it's just forever. Oh, dang, nice. Although we do need to get a new egg if you want like more power. And this is Atomic Reconstructor. Yeah. Which is basically like the base of actually additions like materials, I guess. Which used to make crystals. You just go peep. Wow. Yeah, it shoots lasers. Pew, pew, pew. And then back over here, you have like more enchanter stuff. Yeah, this is regular. The enchanter from Ender.io. This thing is pretty straightforward. You just look at the recipes and you can see which uh, enchantment book you want to make. And then this enchanter is just used to make other extra utility stuff like evil infused and enchanted uh, metals. And don't forget about this armor grinder. Oh yeah, armor grinder. Yeah, yeah. I have this feeling that there's like a better way to do this now, but we just have this really old style. <laughs> Primitive, pri primitive design. And then we have another portal like right in the back here. We got really lucky with this. Right over here is another fortress. Here's our little farm. And our mob stuff. Okay, let me go see. Oh! Right, <laughs> yeah! This, this is Samuka? Yeah! Dang! <laughs> <laughs> is he sleeping? Uh huh. With his tongue out or something? Yeah. Dang. I was gonna put drool, but we didn't have space for drool. And I didn't want to make this any bigger because this is already like way too big. Dude, this is so much brown wool. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? This is a polished, polished sandstone. sandstone. Yeah. It kind of looks like a monkey skin color, kind of, which is why I used it. Yeah, these are the feet. Cool. Oh, wow. Wait, where's the where's the exit though for the backside? Oh, come over here. This way. You see it? What? You see it? Up here? Yeah. Back entrance. K K K. And then this is a tail that leads up to the top. Oh, we can make an elevator to here. And then you can see the rest of the body. But after working on that head, I got really tired and everything else is pretty lame. Very bland. <laughs> it's just a monkey. It's just a it's straight just a, line. It's just a straight monkey body, dude. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was, it was too ambitious, dude. Dude, I got so burnt out after like just doing the head. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. <laughs> it's just, it's just a monkey.
<laughs> it's just, just a, a monkey, monkey with, a with a headband. With the yeah, the headband. Yeah. I was gonna put on like robes and like shoes and whatnot, and then uh, I was like, nah, I don't think so. That's too much work. <laughs> so over here, I was thinking of making this entrance like uh, using redstone to make some kind of a uh, like our own door, basically. So it'll be closed oh, off, yeah. and then when we step by, Dude, it'll like you open should... up. I yeah, should, you should like... have that thing where it just like, and it goes. You know, <laughs> you know those um something like, simple, uh, you know, automated. Oh no, that's be like you open it, and it goes. You know, dang dude, that's gonna be so hard. That's gonna be so much work. But it's gonna look cool, dude. Where what section you wanna are you gonna work at? So I was thinking maybe around so like around here, be a central hub. You know what we can't even do is just like. Have a wall here, and then you can use one side, and then I can use the other side. So we can build a wall here, right? And then this thing from this point to like maybe around here can be like the central place. We can put all of our shared stuff right around here. And then I was thinking of making my own stairway up here, just like pew. And then somewhere around the middle here, actually I'll put several elevators so we can just go in and out, like, you know, faster so we can go underground faster and just go up, go down, up, go out, down, up. Right here, I might just make like a little place, an opening here so we can I put an elevator here and we go pew! So this spot right here, are we going to just leave it open or are we going to build a wall that oh, goes into here? No, no, no. I was thinking later we're going we're gonna to build a wall. This is just placeholder. The dirt, because I wanted to see like yeah. how it would uh lead up. Yeah, but then so then you want to build a wall here and here, and then like just have something that leads over this way. Yeah, like a small opening arm. over here. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can have this blocked off, so this part blocked off, because it's just gonna be like you know cables or whatever machinery we have down here. Yeah, yep. And then what about this spot? This could be some small area too for something. I'm not sure what though. Oh, it can be like a lounge. Oh my god. Oh dang. Guest lounge? Yeah. Guest lounge, cafe, drinks, you know. Just oh, dang. some oh, dude, chillax can, place. Yeah, dude. Drinks, food. We can, uh... Whenever we have to grab food, we can get it from here instead of like going to our main storage area. Yeah, you know? like we'll have it like right here. We'll have like our own food place right here, I guess. I put it right here. Ding, ding, ding. That's a good idea. I like that. Ah, uh, now that I think about it, damn, I should have made this monkey like shorter or fatter. <laughs> so, like a midget. Because, <laughs> like, since we're splitting it side by side like this, like the width of our rooms really isn't that big. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's gonna be narrow. Oh my f***ing... <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny? You know what's funny though? I was huh? like looking like this, right? And then I went, poo, right? I'm like, oh no, I can't believe I put it right here. And then I look back, I'm like, oh <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Uh, because I stupid glowstones, man. Uh. Oh my god, dang it. What? I did what you did. <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh, it's funny, you funny. Dude. It goes so far. Uh, he's just like a dead monkey. He looks like <laughs> a dead monkey lying down. Oh my goodness. It's a dead monkey and we're living inside of it. Yeah, we're living inside of a dead monkey. What this? This is my decoration. Light cloth thumb. <laughs> wow. This is my wall art. Wow, so cool. Super cool, right? So cool, man. <laughs>